All right, Larry, here's this better setup over here on our left with the three wood, but I'll also show it to you previously with the iron. And then on our right is the first setup today where you had scrunched down just a little bit more right there, buddy, on our right. We would scrunched down that one on the right is the first one today, the 26th. And one on the left there is after I told you to get a little taller. And so that looks a little better over here on the left. So that's definitely the new blue. And you see what I mean there. You'd kind of regressed a little bit with the setup, even though you were giving a lot of attention to it the last week or two. And that's why I don't want you to move on to do any other things, to work on any other things, really, because you might lose this better setup. And you see that obviously keeps you in the circle more on the new blue there when you're set up better. And again, the good thing is on the right, there's still a lot of good things going on on the right there. And like we saw in the course today, man, you're three over for nine holes with that nine iron when you went out, you and I were out there on the course. And this is how it looks from face on. Still looking very good in many ways. Very little raise up. Yeah, his hips aren't doing the perfect stuff through impact. There's no doubt about that. But still, this is the much better look when you're taller with this setup. Much, much better look right there. I like that a lot, Larry. And again, enjoy that. Try to do some good on-course practice here in the next week or two until we talk again. Thanks, buddy. See you soon. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment and we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one one hundred twentieth of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from cuttersedge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in your golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here and then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about five or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied with things looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. 
And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I want my students to lie with their fitness through the winter, and then I would hope you also, with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.